Today I'm going to teach you how to ping a rocket seashore. For our member of EnjoyingArc.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. Let's do a little quick drawing. The shape of the wave would be the focal point. So I'm going to have it here like that. And coming up over here, this is the wave, right? The splashes, that's beautiful splashes. And then the top of the water, uh, the water line that will be here. I'm going to put that right here, right? Like that. And leave that a little bit like that. And then take a look at the rocks, where we're going to keep the rocks. So this, definitely this rock is necessary over there. It's very important, right? Because this will create a contrast. Right? This is, would be the rock, one rock over here. And maybe make it a little bit bigger. So think about it, what, what you are going to take in with the, from the reference and what you're going to let go is totally up to you. And this is going to be part of the design as well. And what you're going to keep, right, this is very important. This rock over here too, like that. And if you don't want it, you can erase it so coming over here. Now on this side, have the rock coming over here, have a little bit angle, right, the angular coming in this side, like that. But somehow the attention needs to also come back to uh, this brush. So I'm going to have some a little rock over here, maybe something like that. Have a little bit open. This is my printing. Hold enough. Okay, that should be good enough. And what we are masking, uh, let's first talk about. The area, the solid light color, you don't need to mask. The only need to mask is the top over here have those uh, water, the isolated shape. I'm going to use this toothbrush. I'm going to start making it like that. Here we go. Ready? I'm going to have that we'll make it a little bit lower. So some a very uh, bigger shape. And so some smaller shape like that. Here you go. Over here. Like that. Only worry about those small dusts. Gonna have it a little bit closer to the paper, like this. I'm gonna have a little bit more over here, it's right above this rock, like that. Ooh, pretty nice. Masking for drive, and then we're gonna start painting from the top. Let's talk a little bit while we're waiting. Look at these areas, need to be very careful, like right under the white space has some reflected color to the white shape. You can see that there's a little bit lighter. So there's a very attractive space. So how are we gonna paint that? We're gonna start from a little bit lighter and get a little bit darker shape. I think it's ready. We're gonna start from the top in the sky. Let's talk about my favorite tools. This brush, you can use it as the medium size, similar to number 10, number 12, a round brush, but also can use it as a very, very sharp, small brush, because you see the tip over here, this is very, very sharp. Release the paint gradually, so you can very easy to control uh, the brush stroke. And this one uses similar here, but those are more fine. Okay, let's start from the top over here, and we're gonna just use there, Windsor blue, green shade, very similar to pleasant blue. The color I'm using, only three primary color from Windsor and Newton professional colors. Windsor yellow, Windsor red, and Windsor blue green shade. I also have a little bit Windsor blue red shade. I maybe use it at the front over here for the water over here. Over here have a little bit more green. Over here have a little bit more red shade blue. Also, you can change the sky color if you want to, okay? Now let's see. I'm gonna take that color over here, put it in here. Now I'm gonna put it on top of this to see how it look. And we're going to try to uh, leave some of the splashes 
I'm not sure how it looks like until we remove the masking foot and you're going to see. Now I'm going to start leaving the white for the water over there, right? I'm going to start adding it like this. And that's good. The sky looks fine. I'm going to leave a little bit. Just remove all the wet and just tap on it as well. A little bit blue color, have a little green. We can paint them around on the bottom over here. It's just, just a little tip of the brush like that. It's the amazing thing about this brush. If you're more using it, you're feeling kind of like a, this is, wow, it's very easy. Now I'm gonna put this simple color. Just continue. Because just think about, uh, doesn't matter how light uh, the color in, uh, in this space. Most of the places, like the top over here is white, right? But however, in the middle over here, you need to leave a little bit white shape, but most there is just not really uh, that light compared to the white color up here, right? So it's just start analyzing it and keep looking at it. And I'm gonna make this color would be the foundation color. And I can make some darker color a little bit later. Right, there's some darker, darker color in a wave. The bottom over here, we're gonna paint a little bit lighter version of the color over here. This is not pure white. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna paint this a little gray color, have a little bit Windsor blue, red shade, and put over here like that. And we're going to, so always think about the big color, the big area before think about smaller. Okay, just use the, the brush and just tap on it and take a look like that. That's good. Now take a look at the, the light shape over here is not white, like it's still a little bit gray color. So and just paint it with this color would serve as the lighter shape, uh, the form and over here and like that. That's, that's good. But that, this is the foundation. Um, the next thing, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start adding some color. It looks like this is gonna get dry very soon, right? Uh, if you put it there, this is gonna be also a little bit too wet at this area. So in this case, I'm gonna start putting a little dark color then uh, for the rock, right? So I'm gonna take the red color with the Windsor blue green shade. Maybe a little bit red, it look a little bit warmer like that and maybe a little bit yellow color as well. So I mean, that's good for the light area shape. Okay, that's just good. So I'm gonna start over here and put it over there. Just think about how you use um, the brush, the corner and so on. Okay, like that. And make some illusion of the um, splashes, uh, over here too, like a thing about that, have a little bit uneven. Okay, just tap on it to have a little shape like that. That's okay, right? You can come back to do a little bit more of that. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little color over here. Just use, just use the big brush. And we can come back to do even something a little bit more, a little bit later. So now coming over here, the contrast is very important in the painting. Now we have a light color, we have dark color, and so on, right? Coming over here, have some splashes as well. And the top, it actually have a little bit uh, blue color. I'm gonna have this other uh, the warm uh, shade, uh, blue color. I'm gonna have it right over here, like that. That's good, some reflection over here too. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little dark color over here. When you use a larger brush, it actually force you to pay attention to uh, the large area. Okay, coming here, here you go. I'm gonna leave a little light shape, some splashes. Okay, add a little smaller shape underneath. Oh, now I'm going to actually put it here, a little darker shape like that. It's be a little bit more spontaneous 
and see some of the shape. I will try to make the painting come to uh, some a more cohesive, big feeling as quick as I can. And now I'm going to make some even darker color. And now I'm going to use the lots of red. You see that I haven't washed the brush because the color in the brush, uh, I can continue using it by just adding more color to it. Okay, like that. All right, how are you guys doing so far? Okay. Now I'm gonna add this a little bit darker. Sometimes you don't have a really fine brushes, you're feeling a little bit less control, but more connect with the feeling. Okay, I'm gonna add a little dark color over here on this side, a little dark color over here, a little bit over here, tap, tap on it. Oh, that's good. When you paint a scene like this, the feeling has become very important. If you have something like it, when you feel like when you're on top of the rock, uh, in a rocky beach like this, and you have those feeling kind of like you're moving your mind, it's not because of one rock, uh, or one water splashes, uh, or one little thing, but in fact, it's just the, all the cohesive things, all the things in front of you connect together, that create that feeling. So you need to, Pay attention to how you can take all this in uh, and, and create that uh, strong feeling that when you are right in front of um, the beach, right? Now I'm gonna come in over here and you take a little bit blue color. Yeah, coming here, I'm gonna take a look at this one. I'm gonna tinge the shape a little bit, okay? Can you continue using the one inch flat brush? Okay, don't be afraid of it. Try not to control everything. Just let it, you're gonna work with it and make, have fun with this. Now, this rock is very interesting, like that. And I'm gonna add a little bit in the middle over here and like that. Let's get a little bit over here too. And maybe something over here, like that. Okay. It's just simple shape. After we've done this, now we can come back to start adding other color and let's taking care of the ocean. Now what I want to do, I'm gonna start using the calligraphy brush. Let's see, I'm gonna take this color, it's similar to the color I'm looking for. This, get a little bit winter blue, green shade, get a little red to it. So a little more like a gray color. Yeah, let's see. That already dried. I'm gonna use a little bit more water. It may not really need to be so, so dark. Yeah. Okay, a little bit red. Okay, now let's take a look. From the top over here. Here you go. Look like the horizontal, right? Coming over here. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, that's good. Put it, good, a straight line. And now let's take a look. And now I'm gonna have some color over here, like that. And even have some dots over here. I'm not sure exactly how the um, the masking foot has form a protect. I'm just going to try to help a little bit. Now I come back over here, come to the rock over here. I want to leave a little bit light shape on top of the rock. So I want the rock stand out a little bit more than just uh, look at the reference. Now that's good. Have a little bit separation. That's good. Like that. Okay. That's good. Now come to this side. Now look at that. It's horizontally coming over here. 
isn't it? Okay. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna come in on this side, a little bit like that, and we're gonna have a little bit lighter in the middle of that. So I'm gonna have a little bit lighter, just use the water and make this a little bit lighter, like that. Okay, and I have a little bit gray color, like this, okay. Here you go. All right, that's good. The middle of the water. Okay, good. Now I'm going to see a little shadow side. Okay, that's a little shape. Coming over here. A little shape over here. That's what see through in the ocean. And over here, I'm going to have a little bit more natural. So I'm going to have a little bit uh, the red color into it. So that's good. Now, also I have a little bit yellow. You actually see a little bit green color. Okay, too much. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have it a little color coming up over here. And you go, like that. So seeing the shadow side of the, of the brush over here too. And see a little like that. It's good. Right, now we can see the form. It's very interesting form. And now come to the bottom over here, have a little bit green color. So be sensitive. All the color we have is only the three colors. So they actually help you to simplify your mind. You don't have to think about, oh, what color is that? Is that brown color? Is that purple color that I use? You know, you don't need to worry about those. It's only the three colors. And I have a little yellow color here. All you have is the three primary colors. Like that, here you go. I have a little bit over here, like that. All right, now I'm gonna leave a little bit color over here. I think there's a little bit too persistent. So this calligraphy brush also helps you to lift up some soft shape. Okay, like that, that's good. Now we're seeing the bottom. You want to see the water. I know the water is very soft, but you need, still need to think about the water actually is its form, right? So I'm going to coming over on this side, get a little bit Windsor red. Oh, this is a good color for the shadow. I'm going to put it right here. There you go. Have a little bit like that, the shadow. Here you go. I'm going to even have this color over here like that. Have a little bit yellow. Feel a little bit yellow, a little bit green color, like that. Okay, that's good. Like this. That's good. That's light shape. Uh, also on this side, I put a couple of brush over here. That's good. Like that. Ooh, that's good. And I have a little bit, a little bit more blue right over here. You can see the, the shape separation. Now we're looking for a smaller and smaller uh, shape. Like that. So that's good. And now the painting gradually come together. And I'm going to make the shadow side of this shape again. And now not just solid thing has shape. And the something as soft as water, they also have shape. Okay. As they create a form and then it will have shadow. On this side, I have a little bit green on this side. Is that is the shadow side like that that's pretty good all right now I'm gonna come into the water over here I need to clean that up a little bit and I think this need to be a little bit lighter a little bit softer and that's good all right now I'm gonna come into the the water over here and then come back to the rock and then we're gonna finish the painting really quickly uh, let's take a look and screen your eye I look, look like a little bit green color over here. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna put the color in here. I okay, get one stroke like that. Okay, and keep a little reflection. Okay, like that. And maybe a little bit blue. 
And here you go. And take a look at the shape. Oh, there's interesting shape. Like that. And some very crispy uh, form of those shape. Like that. That's good. And I'm going to come on this side. Draw a few lines of shape. Analyze it. Don't avoid looking at it. Okay. And I'm going to get the red shade blue. So I have a little bit more purpleness feeling of color. So this is the also the reflection of the rocks. So this have a little bit of this blue color like that. Okay. And then also come to this side also seeing a little bit more of the red shade blue color. Also over here we can paint around the light shape like that to get the feeling how does light shape would work. I'm gonna have even darker okay like that. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna come back here to have this a little bit lighter. Now come take a look at there's some light shape, there's some uh, dark shape. Right over here too, or uh, right behind the rocks, always have a little bit red shade blue color. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have this continue. That you're painting around the light shape. Okay, now I'm gonna change the color a little bit, have a little bit green shade. Uh, blue color because right in seeing the between and the middle of the the light okay like that that's good I also have some other color shape as well so that's good like that wow I'm gonna get a little bit blue and between these two blue colors making some very interesting orchestra okay I'm gonna leave a little light shape over here here's you go just drag it through, okay? I'm gonna have a little bit yellow and a little bit orange in this color and the middle over here because we're seeing something, maybe the rock underneath, okay? Yes, like that. Let me try to make it look interesting. Okay, let's see. And the front over here, that's fine because this whole area actually have the reflection of the wave of the splash. And I'm going to make this a little bit lighter, so we have a little transition. My eyes just keep looking around all over the places. And now I'm going to come back to the top. And they have some shadow. The shadow, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more kind of greenish color. So what I'm going to do is just have a few lines like this coming through over here. Like that, you see that? So make the feeling of the ocean actually keep moving. Over here too, you can put a little bit over here. Um, that's good. That's now I come back to the water at the bottom over here. It has a little bit warm shape in the middle over here. Do you see a little warm shade? Almost like a compare with the color surrounding. Is this color a little bit warmer? So I'm gonna have that a little bit over there. Oh, and then I'm gonna have a little bit like that, a little soft. Transition is seeing the water as splashing and touching and then bounce back. Ooh, that's a part of the beauty. Now I'm gonna come here to add the this warmer. It's not about the things in front of you. It's just how you feel, what you feel in your life or the your current experience actually making you feel differently, uh, you're getting different message even from the same scene. Some happy person seeing the same thing is so happy. Oh God, look at that, it's all dancing. Okay, but however, a sad person and looking at it, oh my God, why they struggle? Why they are so angry? Why are they jumping up and down? Okay, you know, actually one person seeing that is dancing. The other person seeing that is actually help I'm here okay now I'm painting around over here that's a very interesting conversation 
It's not about the thing. It's about how we feel. So, if you want to pin something, look angry, get angry, yelling at someone. And when you're really angry, when they come back, they look at the same scene and saying, "Oh, it was happy. Now it's not happy." Okay. Okay. Now come here. Now continue with some shape. But when you get a little bit smaller shape, smaller shape, and be a little careful. And you don't want to stuck with all the small unrelated shape. You want to make them. Related, you want to make them to kind of working together. For example,、uh, some over here may be a little bit lighter and just jump out too much. And okay, like a little bit here. Here you go. Okay, on the other side, I'm gonna have a little bit more of the red shade, blue color. Okay, like that. And this brush gives you. Different shape, different stroke, without changing the brush, like flat brush and big brush and small brush. That's too much. We're too busy. We're supposed to be focused on painting. Focus on enjoying. Okay, here I'm gonna have a little bit darker. There's a couple darker shape. So keep the contrast over here a little bit darker too, and like that. Just screen your eyes. It may help you to get your ideas a little bit better. Okay. Now those pretty nice. I'm gonna have a little bit soft shape over here, and have the bottom a little bit softer like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna work in inside over here. Have a little red. Have a little blue color. And take a look, and that actually have some yellow color, and why didn't I get a little bit green shade、uh, color? And now I'm gonna looking at that. I'm looking for the color over here. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna come here to looking at those smaller shape. Okay. How that is connected outside over here, and on here. Look at that! Interesting. Have a little bit warmer. Okay, a little bit more red to it. But this is how how our, our mind work. When you see oh a little bit warmer, just take the red color. That's easy. And over here, like that, and then leave a little bit small light shape and show it as a、uh, um splashes and have a little bit shape over here. Like that. That that's good, All right? Good, and and this and come in a little bit. Now I'm gonna have a little bit lighter, lighter shape in the middle over here, like that. Here you go, like that. Coming over and see, light shape, dark shape, all together to create that nice.、Um, Orchestra. When you go to the music, like that. Here you go. You can see how the water work. How are everyone doing? Are you have fun? And、uh, do you have fun? Do you need any help? And then I'm going to have a little blue color over here. I have got a little big shape over here. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna have a little big shape over here, and then pay attention. Pay attention how how the shape work together. Okay, and a bit like that. Maybe a little bit darker. That here you go. Now we need still need to come back in a moment. Come back to、uh, make the color,、uh, make the rock a little bit more dimensional. Okay. All right. Looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna come here to work more on the rock, and that's pretty good. First, I'm gonna prepare this a little bit warmer, and、uh, prepare this area a little bit warmer, and I'm gonna come back to paint the surrounding a 
a little bit darker and that would stand up okay like that that's good now i'm gonna why don't i spend a little time over here okay like that have a little shape a little suggestions just a little suggestions over here and maybe also make this side a little bit darker so make it look like some uh, thin transparent water coming down over there so what I'm gonna do just let's use the water and put that and a little lighter shape over here just all shape 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 that's the visual element that you're gonna use to keep creating suggestions okay that rocks has a lot more details okay that's nice and now we're gonna take a look on this side this side can be a little bit darker yeah, here you go you don't need to make it solid just a little bit like that that looks really good and take a look at I'm gonna work on this one I'm gonna use a little dry brush I'm gonna mix a little dark color just the Windsor blue green shade with the red okay ready just the side way. I'm gonna divide this like this, a little bit more blue. Okay, like this. Here you go. Like that. I'm gonna let go some of the paint because it's just a little bit too too much. I'm gonna have a little bit more as see that? This create a texture. Very beautiful. This good now i'm gonna have a little line coming this way i'm gonna have this a little bit texture coming on this side Here you go like that okay now the bottom over here now the rock has some good suggestions now over here a little bit darker oh that's good now we'll come to the rock over here I'm gonna take the color a little bit more blue right we're getting there it's fun go for you having fun okay I'm gonna have this side a little bit darker and here you go like that yeah that's good a little bit darker color underneath just seeing the shadow underneath okay but now I'm putting the little darker color over here to seeing because I'm putting the darker color and next to the light color, that's how you create uh, the suggestions of uh, the light color floating around. If you don't have dark color, you won't see the light color. Again, like here, I'm gonna come on this side. Now getting a little bit more, a little bit more of this two color. Need to add a little water, otherwise you can't move the color, right? So you. Here you go. Now coming over here. Now take a look at. Here you go. Put a little shape over here. That's good. Yeah, like that. Now coming over here. Coming, and then here you go. A little dry brush create a texture. Now I'm gonna make sure I have the the shape organized. And this the top. I want to make it a little bit more clear on the top of the rock. I'm gonna have a little bit clear and here a little bit clear. Okay, here we go. Okay, like this. And now the bottom over here, I need to add some um, shape, uh, connect it, make it a little bit softer. Now take a look at the lighting actually. It's a good question a little bit earlier. The light I think coming from this angle. So I can see that the shadow on the left side, like that. So you can. I'm gonna change that a little bit. Actually, make some different shape, like that. That's good. Now, getting there a little by little, right? Now I'm gonna take this blue color, a little bit more of the green shade, actually the red shade, uh, Windsor blue. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit color. Like this this color pretty dark so I'm gonna put it right underneath underneath the rock and just have a little bit light shade for the form like that here you go something over here that's good 
Now I'm going to add things a little bit more shape here to make it more and more, more interesting. Okay, coming on this side, look a little bit more brown color. So I take a little red, take a little yellow color. And if you using this color palette and this system more and more, you can think and analyze much faster and faster every time. How would I consider the shapes more organized? For example, you're seeing the things over here, there's just many, many smaller shapes. How are you gonna make them actually more connected? Sometimes too many same size shapes, but sometimes you have to make some shape a little bit bigger. Some say need to be drawn together. That's what I mean organizing. I'm gonna actually have this, have one shape blended over. Now I make this whole area to be together, more appealing. You know, sometimes you have like the shape over here, shape over there. The shape is just not actually talking to each other and they are actually fighting somehow, right? And see how you're gonna make the things a little bit more in the order that you would not feeling they're competing instead. They are actually working together and joining together and somehow a little bit green shape blue and red shape blue now coming over here. Now I'm gonna have this connected. I always squint your eye if you can. So I'm gonna make this a little bit more exclusive. There's a light color and then a little darker color over here and maybe a little bit darker over here. Okay, like that. And over here, a little bit general, a little bit kind of like a disconnected. It seems like a lot of thing going on. Now I'm going to organize them together to make them join together as a one bigger, larger shape. Now we're going to have training in this year, more of the design ideas, how you're going to see them together. Okay, now the front over here and serve better for the overall uh, design because I, we don't want this to compete with the middle over here. And also look at this, it's a little bit also fighting as well. So I'm gonna also use a little bit blue shape, blue color, I'm gonna organize that and make them kind of join together and also more like a shading, shading into the bigger shape. Uh, and only leave that a little bit shape to be very light like that. Here you go, like this. Now this area, I want to join it together a little bit. And then in the middle over here, and have a little bit yellow. Yeah, so you have a little bit more like a green color. I'm gonna have this, put a little shape over here. It actually makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna have a little shape over there. It's kind of the color come together. Very interesting. And and then the bottom over here, I'm gonna get a little bit of this warm color. Give a little bit over there. A little bit over here. So you can see the really bright uh, reflection onto here. But this one looks a here, looks a little bit distracting from the big shape. So we need to organize that again. Uh, we need to have a little gray color. There's a little gray color, maybe tone this down a little bit. So this is called reorganizing the hierarchy uh, shape. Okay, have that. And that need to be darker. And the rock over here, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna making that a little bit lower. This area, a little bit lower, like this. There you go. Maybe come in a little bit. So a little bit more blue color, like that is good. Here you go. Now I'm gonna to come to this rock. This rock is very important because this is actually so next to the light shape. I think I'm gonna splash a little bit dark shape into here. So I'm gonna use the two brush. Here you go, I'm gonna take this a little color this area. That would be fine. Interesting. I'm gonna splash a little bit on the rock over here too. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, 
Now we'll come back to here to have the same color, but I'm gonna put a little bigger shape. You're seeing the water splashing. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna come in here to make the deeper shadow side. Here you go. That's good. Now I'm gonna put this. Oh, that's good. Just one stroke. It already create lots of story in here. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now here you go. Now this is the shadow side. Now create lots of lots of beautiful beautiful contrast now on this side need to be a little bit darker because the shadow side like that here you go okay now that's much better i'm going to give a, a couple line just to suggest the surface the rock like that. Now also come over here. That's a little bit darker. This also pretty close proximity. So I'm gonna have a little bit shadow over here too. Oh, okay, the color, very nice. Now I'm going to just take away all the masking. Make the painting more fun than ever.